CNBC. Nobody gets you closer than Rivera Live to today's cases, to law and order, to crime and punishment. Every night, Rivera Live takes you inside the headlines. Jacqueline Bissett has starred in many films, including Day for Night, Bullet, and The Deep. Her new movie, September, airs on Showtime on Sunday, September 15th. She joins us from our Los Angeles studio. Hi. Hi, Charles. How are you? God, you look great. Oh, you look great. You Your look dark great. suit, huh? And you, uh, you, you say you've never had face work, and I say I've never had face work. <laughs> Well, it's the truth on my side. How about you? Do people believe you? They don't believe I don't me. Know. I, they don't believe me. <laughs> I don't know if they believe me. People, people, we do stuff out in the street. People always say, now he's had a facelift. And they say, no, he hasn't. And people go, oh, get out of here. Yeah, well, you know, so, they so do like, I don't, like, I don't I'm, know. I'm sorry, what? No, I don't know if they believe me either. Yeah, you, you don't ask if they believe no, you. No, I don't say. ask. I don't mind if they do or if they don't. Yeah, do you, um, I know that you say you don't like to hear people or actresses complain about no roles over 40. How do you feel about actresses complaining about not being paid enough? Well, I think the it's uh, getting better. It's getting better. And I think it's up to the women to prove that they can make money for the producers. So at that point, I think they will but I mean, certainly get closer. I think it's terribly, I think it should be, obviously, I think it should be equal. But hey, do you think it's about work. you think it's about actors and actresses, or do you think it's just about the uh, box office? What did your last movie gross at the box office? I, I think I think it's about that to a large degree. To a large degree, I think since Julia Roberts really went up there with the salaries, I think it's they having to take it more. You know, obviously they're having to pay big salaries. God knows, I don't know. Uh, it, things have changed so much since the time when I was earning lots of money. So I don't know. Um, I think people it's get in a lot of difficulty. Now they talk about these kids on the, on the, this, the uh, television show Friends, how they got this much, but they want this. The minute yeah. that gets into the paper, look out. That should not be in the paper. I show you, nothing should, none of this should be in it. It used to be in contracts that you couldn't talk about this stuff. And now it's in the paper. I got yeah. 40000 but I want 100000 yeah. but I might take 80000 And then, yeah. it's, all right, I'm leaving. I'm going into the movies. It's yeah. over. It seems to me, to some degree, once you make a deal, you should stick to it. I've, I'm not, there's all this renegotiating stuff. I know it's lots of people do it, but I'm not sure, really, that's terribly right. I, I agree you know, with you. Everybody I, takes a step. I mean, the producers do have to make an investment with the, with the young actors. I agree. And, I, I know, I've, you know gone in, I've gone into deals where people say, well, look, if the thing really, you know, goes big, we'll, we'll just go. I said, no, no, no. If we have a, a deal, that's going to be the deal. I'm not going to go back and say this made a lot more money than we thought it was. I yeah. should get... You know, because then, you know, you can't. Nothing, nothing goes, and you can't believe what anybody says. No, I feel that a bit. I also think people get all frightfully greedy. They don't realize how much luck they've had in getting the job in the first place, well, to a large degree. That's right. And we're just coming up to a, to a break, but you say you like, you like, what is it? Is it sober clothes? You like to dominate your clothes. <laughs> I like to dominate my clothes. If I can't dominate my friends or my men, I mean, dominate my clothes. Well, that's, and that's how I feel. <laughs> Looking at you, both of us without our faceless, with our sober clothes, we both, we don't have facelifts, we both like to dominate our clothes, because if we, if I was sitting here with a yellow t-shirt, people say, look at that yellow t-shirt, they wouldn't listen to anything I have to say. Exactly. We'll come up to a break. Even me, Charles, and I'm a fan. There you go. And it, so we're going to come back and we're going to talk about uh, really serious, important things, because this woman and I have important things to say to America, and we'll be saying it in two minutes. Be right back. Camp is rough. Being out in the wild sure makes a kid hungry. But the sandwiches we got just aren't enough. It makes me homesick for you and a hot bowl of Campbell's tomato soup. Nothing turns an ordinary sandwich into a hot, satisfying meal like rich, wholesome Campbell's tomato soup. Mom? I brought you something for those sandwiches. Wow, tomato soup. You're the best, Mom. Campbell's makes everything. Mm -mm, better. Guess who's back? It's Brett Maverick, the coolest card player in Wild West history. Luck hasn't had anything to do with it, Mr. Bent. And now, the one and only Maverick, one of the top three TV Western series of all time, can be all yours on home video. Enjoy all the fun and gunslinging action starring all-time best actor James Garner as Brett Maverick and Jack Kelly as Bart Maverick. Well, 
What next? Order your introductory Maverick video cassette today and you get a winning deal. Two classic one hour episodes to preview without risk for 10 days. Only $4.95 plus shipping and handling. America's most popular poker playing cowboy is back. It's easy to start your Maverick home video collection. Just call now for your first video cassette for only $4.95 plus $3.59 shipping. Credit card orders only. Call 1-800-532-8787. That's 1-800-532-8787. I watch the Product Information Network for product information I don't see anywhere else. Pin shows all the latest stuff in consumer trends, and I find a great source of information for me and my family. I like that it's on all day and all night. I can tune in anytime I want. It's fun to watch. It's always something new. <laughs> You'd be crazy not to watch the Product Information Network. Let Meyer Company provide you with quality plumbing products. Aquaglass offers one of the most complete lines of luxury whirlpools, showers, and easy to install shower floors, walls, and doors. Stop by Meyer Company's award-winning showroom and let our experienced staff assist you in discovering the possibilities with Aquaglass. Be the wiser buyer. Buy at Meyer. Don't be so hopeless. Aren't you, whether you have one leg or two, you can't just turn your back on people who love you. You speak from experience, of course. Well, you have a choice. I didn't. John Huston said you radiate complexity. Is that Isn't how that you, you see yourself uh, radiating complexity? Are you radiating complexity here tonight? <laughs> I'm trying so hard to. Are you, are you like? I look frightfully intelligent. I, I think so. I think you're complex. I mean, you you say you say that you uh, you say that you discovered America, but we have reason to believe. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't. I, yeah, I don't know. Somehow, do, reading I, about you, I just wanted to pick yeah. up your quotes and give them to you. But you wanted to say something. Please. No, no, no. I I did like that quote from Houston. If Houston said that, I really I did like that. That is good you know. because you know yeah. I used to I used to radiate complexity, but I was on when I started. I was on a soap opera when I first began. They didn't want any complexity. No, they said, "What simple, is he right? thinking about?" I said, "Well, isn't that good? You don't know what it. No, we want to know what you're thinking. It's a soap opera. We have to know what you're thinking." <laughs> Right, spell it all out. That, that's ABC, right. I said, right. you watch it. And, and somebody who was very successful on this, that they liked a lot, said to me, you'll probably go on and be in the movies because <laughs> they like complexity in the movies. And sure enough, I was in the wrong uh, arena. You, you still don't ever want to marry? Oh, I didn't say that. You didn't? Charles, I, 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 I don't ever want to marry. I, it's, no, it's I never here, said written, that. Written right I never on said that. I've been saying this, but I never said that for years when nobody believes me. I see. So you do no. want to marry. Well, I don't know if I want to marry. I think it's a little <laughs> bit archaic as a... As a as an institution, but I, I, I think it's a good one if it works, you know, if you've got the right person. Mm -hmm. And if you're ready to give a lot, I think you've got to be ready to give a lot. You have to give a lot even if you're not married, believe me. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I believe you. <laughs> what about same-sex marriage? Why not? If, Why not? Whatever, whatever anyone wants is basically what no, you would say. No, not whatever anyone wants. I think people who, I think whoever the person is in somebody's life, if there's res mutual respect, absolutely, why not? I mean, I, the implications are I haven't really thought it through, but I, I, I don't see why people should be penalized. Mm -hmm. for I guess that because reason, people certainly. are afraid that marriage as an institution is going to be violated if, if, if the well, same it's sex. Changed. Well, it's already changing. I mean, for heaven's sake, it's no longer the way it was before. It's no longer the way it was our parents had it. It's, you know, I mean, things have changed. I was just thinking how much things have changed so much mm -hmm. in the last 20 years. It's and the, staggering. And the person we, leading the battle against this same sex marriage bill in the Congress. Uh, it was pointed out by Margaret Carlson in Time Magazine. Uh, she, she said, which, which marriage is he trying to protect? His first one, his second one, or his third one? <laughs> <laughs> you say you used to feel, here's another quote, Jacqueline Bissett quotes. Um, oh, no, please. Uh, I, used, I used to feel like a grain of salt, and now I feel smaller. Yeah. Sand, 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 not salt. Yeah. Sand. Well, sand, salt, what's the difference? Yeah, no, I mean, for, it's just the world. It's just, it's going to be an amazing new century, I think. I don't know what's going to, so I've just been reading this article about all the Los Angeles, how it's changing and how the, you know, the many ethnic groups merging, unmerging, becoming more, 
desires of, of their own personalities, and yet this whole world, global, coming together. It's just, it's just a fascinating time. Where do you mostly live? Here. In Los I Angeles. I moved into the studio. I just <laughs> couldn't wait to be talking to you again. So you live in CNBC now in, yeah, in Los I was, Angeles. Yes, I. It's not bad there. Here. You've yeah, got I'm you've got you. Patty Bourgeois there. You've got <laughs> Kim Delmonico. You've got the group out there. That's yeah. a, so you live there. Uh huh. Yeah. And 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 last quote I'm going to throw at you, but I, I like this stuff. Um, you dislike dishonest people. Of course, I mean, we all dislike, but the question I really wanted to ask you yeah. was, uh, no, I like dishonest people. It's those <laughs> honest ones that give me trouble. No, the question, the question was, do you think dishonest people know they're being dishonest? Do I think dishonest people know? Some of them do, for sure. You think? I think they must do. Really? I mean, except, well, when you meet a real con man, you know, right there, and they do it to everybody, you know, this cutting stuff. They've got to know that this, is, this line works, right? Mm, well, I, I don't know. I'm always interested in that because everybody rationalizes their position. It's in such an such a energetic way. Well, that's you wonder, true, too. Are they really believing this? Well, if they say if you keep doing it often enough, you end up believing it. Or if you keep behaving a certain way, you end up being it. Being what you thought, what you thought was a pretense in the beginning, but it ends up becoming the real thing. I don't know, Charles. You don't? <laughs> no, that's why... That's why being an actress is such a good fun. I mean, I, I actually wonder if Adolf Hitler ever thought he was doing anything wrong, or if he thought it was completely justified with everything. I'm, I'm sure he believed he was a good guy. A good guy. And, 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 when, and when Bob Dole says, uh, you know, we need less government, but we need more government to d deal with the drug problem, does he hear that contradiction? Or when Bill Clinton talks about uh, family values and he's got a guy there working for him like Dick Morris, does he hear, do they hear these contradictions? Well, you life is mean, contradiction. It's what? Life is contradiction. Life is contradiction. But I mean, for example, what you've said so far today, I mean, you or I could run out and get a face job right after this thing. Because <laughs> I even asked someone on the staff, I said, see if you can find out in a delicate way if, if Jacqueline has had his face job. Right. I don't want to bring this up if two weeks ago, since the, since the stuff that I read, <laughs> that you had one. Right, and she's like covered with bruises. You know, and, and, then, and then you'll say, well, right. uh, you know, because you dislike dishonest people, so you're going to answer the question honestly. And then afterwards I'll hear that you said, <laughs> it's why would he ask me? I just got it a week ago. <laughs> and I've come on to talk about September. Well, Now, who I, was that with you in that September? That was Edward, Edward Fox. Yes. He's a very brilliant actor. It's yes. a wonderful piece, Charles. I don't know whether you care one way or the other, but I do. I did care, and I really enjoyed this piece. Well, I care. I like to see good it's things. A, I've never seen yeah. anything. I haven't seen anything for about 12 years, but, I, but, is, I, a, I, uh, but that looked good. I mean, it's a Scottish story. It's a story that takes place in Scotland. Scotland. Where's Scotland, Scotland. near? Oh, well... Where is it? We can have a geography lesson. Should we have a geography lesson? My son knows geography. Yeah. Where's Scotland? What's the bordering country for Scotland if you're so smart? Well, let me think now. Could it be England? Is it? Could well, it you be? You know, you've been over there. You're probably yeah. English, for God's sake. Oh, I'm Scottish. I'm Scottish. Oh, are you Scottish? I'm Scottish. But I'm reclaiming my birthright. Are you? Is that a? Uh, how would you describe how you're speaking? Is that English or Scottish? I think I've, I think I'm very American. You, you, Americanized. Say, you think you're American? Americanized. I but see. I can be frightfully British if you'd like. So you're telling me that uh, Scotland is near England? Is that what you're telling I'm me? I'm telling you <laughs> for the moment. They're trying to pull away. Now, who's the Queen of England these days? <laughs> It's that There's same that same woman, Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, she's still she's there. She's hanging in there. She's just and she believes in family on. values, but there's been some problems there. Yeah. Well, Jacqueline, you know, next week we're going to have a yeah, panel we'll discussion about O.J. Simpson and the current political scene and race and the justice system and Michael Moore oh, and Lisa I wish Gibson I could be there. and Michael Reagan and Art Buckwell and Jacqueline Bissett. Oh, Good night, Jacqueline. Thanks, you're honey. Great. People always say, now he's had a facelift, and they say, no, he hasn't. People, go, oh, get out of here. Yeah. Well, you know, so, so they I do don't, like. I don't I'm, know. I'm sorry, what? No, I don't know if they believe me either. You, you, you don't ask if they believe no, you. No, I don't ask. I don't mind if they do or if they don't. Yeah. Do you, um, I know that you say you don't like to hear people or actresses complain about no roles over 40. How do you feel about actresses complaining about not being paid enough? Well, I really went up there with the salaries. I think it's they're having to take it more, you know, obviously they're having to pay big salaries. God knows, I don't know. Uh, it, things have changed so much since the time when I was earning lots of money, so I don't know. Um, I think people get in a lot of difficulty. Now they talk about these kids on the, on the, this, the uh, television show Friends, how they got this much, but they want this. The minute yeah. that gets into the paper, look out. That should not be in the paper. I show you nothing should. Not September airs on Showtime on Sunday, September 15th. She joins us from our Los Angeles studio. Hi.
Hi, Charles. How are you? God, you look great. Oh, you look great. You Your look dark great. suit, huh? And you, uh, you, you say you've never had face work, and I say I've never had face work. <laughs> Well, it's the truth on my side. How about you? Do people believe you? They don't believe me. I don't me. know. I... They don't believe me. <laughs> I don't know if they believe me. People, people, we do stuff out in the street. People... CNBC. Nobody gets you closer than Rivera Live to today's cases, to law and order, to crime and punishment. Every night, Rivera Live takes you inside the headlines. Jacqueline Bissett has starred in many films, including Day for Night, Bullet, and The Deep. Her new movie... I think the, it's uh, getting better. It's getting better, and I think it's up to the women to prove that they can make money for the producers. So at that point, I think they will but I mean, certainly get closer. I think it's terribly... I think it should be... Obviously, I think it should be equal... But do you, think it's about, do you think it's about actors and actresses, or do you think it's just about the uh, box office? What did your last movie gross at the box office? I, I, think, I think it's about that to a large degree. To a large degree. I think since Julia Roberts 